pounds fifty, and everything you need to wow them. Yeah. Between a boy and man She was 17 and she was far from in between It was summertime in Auburn, Michigan So I thought I could beat the rain and it started bugging down Like <laughs> But Got the boards and the nails so backyard's nearly finished um wish this rain would let off so that my dad could come and finish the backyard like it's so fucking annoying but monday it's suspected not to have rain on monday <laughs> so we'll see but at least I have the boards anyway like so we muscle woman here has to now take them from the car to the house. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, well. Boards aren't heavy. I do like two at a time, so. No sweat for my wee guns. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking stupid. Well. Finally got a break from the rain, so I was like, let's go and give my tattoo idea a wee listen to from a new tattooist that I've not had a tattoo by. So, go see what he says. And hopefully I can get a new tattoo by Tuesday or hopefully today I feel it'll take me now <laughs> so I doubt that but yeah hopefully today but maybe not till Tuesday because they're not open on Monday so back on the bridge <laughs> from yesterday's snapchat <laughs> But yeah, looks like I've got a break from the rain, so I'm gonna get my tattoo sorted and placed and booked if they can't do me now. <laughs> I got caught out in a pissing rain and I was like, <laughs> I need to make a run for it. <laughs> but <laughs> I can't run because of my fucked up leg. So I'm making a little dash for it. <laughs> it was raining so fucking hard. How do you take shelter? But oh, my glasses. <laughs> Fuck's up. Maybe car. Woo! Fuck's sake. And the tattoo shop's closed. But there's one at the top of the town and it's open. And the worst, one, the worst thing about that one is you can't get parked anywhere near it. My hair is fucking soaked right through. Oh my God. Like, oh my glasses, my phone's like soaking. Right. I wonder could I get parked at the next tattoo shop. Fuck's sake, like, I just want a tattoo. Like, 
My glasses are starting to steam up. <laughs> oh. Let's go to the next tattoo shop and see if I can get parked first. <laughs> Didn't get parking, so I'm at home. And I went over to the shop and then I got stuck in another pissy down rain situation. It's rain on, rain off, rain on, rain off. My hair was straight and now it's going curly. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck me, like. Uh, got the boards in. Oh dear. I think it's time for a good wee, like, beer. <laughs> oh. Beer o'clock it is. And it's only like nearly 10 past three. Oh well. to my fucking roots. Keep a look out for the YouTube video because it's gonna explain a lot of shit. It's gonna explain sees a dog on TV and goes lethal, like, 
But yeah, my YouTube video is going to explain the timelines of <coughs> of the change and the change like happened in 2016 yeah the change happened in 2016 and that was the year i busted my leg up and i'm trying to like take control of getting my old self back and my old self was little rock princess type of look whenever I busted my leg I end up losing losing like walking losing the joy of life basically and now I think it's time to like take it back and I'm like I'm going all in I like buy clothes and I cut them up I cut them up and I design them around my style and my mind that's like rock princess type of shit and I need to get back to that because that's when I was happiest like wearing just a plain old t-shirt it says if you think I'm sure. <laughs> um, let me. You should see my patience. <laughs> like just wearing plain old fucking shit, like t-shirts, jeans, trainers. That's dimming my fucking spirit, soul, and mind. I need to get myself back together and stop making my life go around my fucked up leg. So I went and I spent a load of money on getting my old school princess rock check stuff clothing back did you do that on purpose <sighs> oh so i am getting back to my old style again i swear like see going from just plain old jean shit to track suits to fucking trainers like i'm getting back into my fucking what you call it my jeans like not these jeans like obviously like these jeans these jeans will be cut up in the next month or so because all i used to do was cut up my jeans like cut up my face tops, cut up my t-shirts. I wasn't, I'm, I've got like, what you call it, a short back, long legs, nothing's made for me. And the whole industry of clothing nowadays is high waisted and crop top shop, crop top fucking tops. Like, how is a fucking um short backed person with long legs and meant to suit that shit? Mm, it's not happening. So I'm going back to my old roots before I bust up my leg and 
I know I'm going to be so much more happier. So I'm going to make a whole YouTube video about it. And I'm going to put in pictures of my old looks. And you shall see the change happening from the pictures before I bust up my leg and the leg fucking up my life. And um, I'm going to be like posting all my cut up clothing, my style. And there's been so many copycats, so many copycats of my style over the past like 20 years online. It's, it's been ridiculous. But hey, if they want to copycat me, they can copycat me. But like, you can't get you you can't get the truer truer than the wee pinky here. But um, let people copycat me, yes. But um, I'm me. Like this is like, this is me. Like a couple of days ago, I just realized. A couple of days ago, like, I just realized it's my clothes. I am not wearing my rock princess shit that I used to wear. And I used to be so comfortable and happy in. But then whenever I fell and bust at my leg, I got into the jogging bottoms, the baggy t-shirts, the fucking jeans, the crappy shoes because I can't walk and I used to run around in like big six, seven inch heels and obviously I know I can't wear six, seven heels, six, seven inch heels now like um, I'm going to have to work around that and which I have. I ordered myself a new pair of um, gothic um, boots that I used to wear, but they're... So I'm going to bring that video out tomorrow night and there'll be pictures in it and there'll be pictures in it from after the leg break. I'm just, I know I'm going to be so much happier in the past like couple of days. I'm like, I need to get my old style back because that's when I was happier. I was more at peace with myself. I was more outspoken. I was more happy. I was, I was doing this and I was doing that. Yes, I was on the drugs, but why can't I be that way whenever I'm not on the drugs. So I'm going to test it out to see how happy I am <laughs> in my old style clothing um, without being a druggie. So I wonder how that would work. So that's the next like couple of YouTube videos which will be um, I'm going to like see how, how it is to be like dressing the way that I used to dress, but only sober, not, not like out of my face and running around getting like drugs here, drugs there, alcohol here, alcohol there. I'm like, I'm over a, sto a half a stone heavier now and like the cravings of the drugs are like back, big time. <coughs> Pardon me. I was in my sister's house last night and we were watching, oh, I can't mind what it was called. Um, Rise of the foot, foot Soldiers. And if you know that film, or them films, like, 
of their faces on coke and the coke showing and and I was like sitting like this I was like no I am like sitting thinking about coke and I'm like oh this is going to be like a battle for me for the next like fucking what month or two like every time I see cocaine on tv or cocaine like just about I'm like right this is going to be a fight for me to say no so I wonder what I'll feel like in my old style but clean like not on drugs or will it make me go back on drugs that's the question I don't know I don't know like and I'm not even drunk I've only had like three beer so I'm just like I'm I'm like letting you know that there's gonna be like a YouTube video tomorrow and I'm gonna go over I'll maybe go live because it'll make me not have to edit anything and just be me. I'm fed up of editing shit and like, I'm fed up of just people like seeing YouTube videos as, um, what you call it, as edit it down and I don't like edit it down because I can't hold my mouth at times and I like to see I like people to see me as speaking like I'm with them in the room speaking to them you know what I mean so yeah I'm going to like going to go back go back to my old style and do it clean and I'm like after watching the rise of the foot soldiers with my sister and that yesterday um the cravings are there and in March and April I had to fight the cravings of drugs like cocaine meth I had to like fight it and not go and get it and I won it I won it I won that fight again but any movie that I watch anything that shows cocaine and sniffing cocaine and all that air crap brings the cravings back so yesterday watching the movie Rise of the Foot Soldiers, it brought the cravings back and now I'm sitting having a drink on my third um my third beer and I'm like right the clothing my style I used to rip up all my t shirts, I used to rip up all my t my face tops I used to rip up my jeans. I used to like just put pieces together and not give a fuck because that's who I really am inside. But until I broke my leg, it was flat trainers, flat fucking high tops, flat footwear. And it's like not me at all. Like, and track suits and all that ain't me I need to get my like rock princess shit back so I'm gonna try that and I'm gonna try do it clean and if I go off the reels I'll really let you know if I've relapsed if I've not relapsed because <laughs> I'm fucking like too honest I'm like people say you're too honest pink guy but like better being honest than being a liar so like if I relapse I'll fucking tell you so I've relapsed but until that time comes I'm clean <laughs> 
so far at the minute so far at the minute that's why i'm drowning my sorrows why colors fucking beer so yeah right i need to go and listen to some more music mr green's getting fed up with listening to me talk and you're getting fed up with me talking to this thing yeah yeah you getting fed up with me are oh, you getting fed up with me yes well let us know if i have fucking relapse or a not a relapse but I plan never to relapse again in my life. I'm, I'm clean four years now, I'm clean. So I wonder while my like old school clothing, which made me happiest, but I was always off my face. Um, I wonder will that make me relapse? God only knows. We'll see you in a month or two and I'll let you know. So, yeah, I need to get my rock and roll music going here, people. But anyway, have a good Saturday night and, yeah, keep rocking and rolling. No matter what you're rolling, you could be rolling a blunt, you could be rolling a J, you could be fucking smoking a fucking... An ordinary cigarette, you could be sniffing a, a line of coke, you could be sniffing a line of meth, but whatever you're doing, hey, good time. <laughs> My body can't can handle drugs at the minute. I'd be scared to put drugs in my body because I've been clean for four years. But I'll really let you know if I've relapsed and if I've not. So keep tuned to my Snapchat and my YouTube videos. So anyway, peace out. I need to listen to some music and hear good old wee cracker time alone. I need alone time at the minute. I'm just like dealing with cravings and if I'm around people, the cravings will be like higher and more intensified. So I need to be alone at the minute. <laughs> but yeah, peace out.